With what feels like more work to complete and less time trying to keep up with Cerner and Epic schedules, I'm sure we can all agree nursing shortcuts are made. But are these shortcuts causing you your health? Maybe not in the current moment, but years down the line, a 14-year study was completed to determine cancer incidents in healthcare workers in cancer centers. And let me tell you what was found. It may make you rethink your day-to-day -day nursing duties. Trying to avoid cancer-causing products like what can be found in cosmetics is one simple switch we can do to limit our risk of contracting cancer. That is why I switched to an all natural and organic cosmetic company, specifically Pretty Farm Girl. I could not recommend their cosmetics enough, seriously. One of my favorite products, or should I say duo, is the cleansing grains and cleansing oil. I use this every single day. I use it to take off my makeup and I use it to clean my face. And it's not soap. It's not stripping my face of its natural oils. And follow that up with some fresh face cream and protective mousse, you'll feel like a new person. But for 10% off your order, use code Katherine Ann RN or use the link in the description of this video. Now let's actually talk about this study of what is causing an increased risk of cancers in healthcare workers. This study was conducted from 1995 to 2008, totaling just under 20,000 people. 35 healthcare workers were identified of having cancer during this course of the study. And of these 35 people, 12 different cancers were identified. But listen to this, there is one specific type of cancer that is higher in females than males, and that was leukemia. Now there was also one type of cancer the study spoke about that was higher in night shift female workers, and that was breast cancer. When I was working bedside, I remember having one medication always labeled handle with gloves. Specifically, it was labeled handle with gloves, caution if pregnant or breastfeeding. I always made sure to handle that medication with gloves, of course. Others though, not so much if I'm honest. If my patient just needed like a Tylenol, I would carefully pull back that label and carefully drop it into the cup and make sure I wouldn't actually touch the Tylenol. And of course, I always perform my hand hygiene when going into the room. But are shortcuts like that causing cancer in nurses and healthcare workers? Nurses usually, and I say usually, unless it's 2020, have an ample amount of PPE to wear. But are they taking advantage of using the PPE or seeing it more of a burden to have to wear that and put it on before even going into a patient's room? Even if that's just gloves. Is this what is causing these types of cancers? I would even consider not taking a lunch break as a nurse shortcut. So do you think it's environmental? Do you think it's stress related that is causing this higher risk of cancers in healthcare workers? Do you think it's lifestyle? Personally, I think it's a mix of unhealthy lifestyles, exposure to harmful drugs, and chronic high stress, which makes the body more prone to developing cancers. But Enough of what I said, here is what the study says. This study revealed that leukemia was higher than expected among healthcare workers and that physicians may have an increased risk of cancer than the general working population. However, interpretations should be made with caution due to the limited number of cases. Further studies should focus in on detail on occupational exposures and behaviors related to the risk of cancers. It may also be beneficial in terms of reducing the burden of work-related cancers and the well-being of healthcare workers. And then it further states, as multiple factors affect the likelihood of developing cancer, it was difficult to differentiate between occupation and lifestyle in this study. The stratification of each occupation by cancer type could not be connected to a specific exposure and may warrant further investigation. 
So unfortunately, they could not pinpoint what causes this higher level of cancer in healthcare workers, but I think we can make an educated guess into some possible contributing factors. So what do you all think? What is your educated opinion on what is causing this? Comment down below. I would love to hear from you. But other than that, that is it for today, everyone. Thank you for tuning in and make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and also just helps get this video out there to other healthcare workers like yourself. Other than that, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in next week's video. See ya.